The camera yeah. movements are so good. It just—it needs that sad Hulk music, like zooming in, like oh. Oh gosh, it's zooming. <laughs> Hey, everybody, and welcome to the grand finale of Doom of the Savage Kings on Jordan's Jocular Junction. Uh, these are some actual plays that we do where we get some really cool, nice people from across the TTRPG sphere together, and we play some um, uh, small press adventures that we like. Uh, so as I said, this is Doom of the Savage Kings, the first level Dungeon Crawl Classics adventure, and this is part four, the finale. If you're starting here, you're starting in the wrong place. Go back to part one and watch that. It should be in a playlist, and there should be a link below. Now, uh, let's meet some of the cool people. Or wait, no, we're not going to. We already know them. You've watched pr previous parts. There are cool people here, and we're going to continue the adventure. Uh, they are in a tomb. They've just killed a lot of snake or a lot of zombies that had snakes inside them. It was the a Russian, a terrible Russian nesting doll uh, of enemies. But they got through all of that. Uh, Bob resisted being poisoned, so he's looking good for getting married later today. And um, yeah, I, it's great. You found a, a little crawl space in the ceiling. So we need to boost someone up there, probably Bob. Yeah, maybe. Awesome. You said it was really high up, though. Is there? Could we? Could we it's climb a, the so wall? It's a, you you can climb the wall actually pretty easily because there's all these like overgrown like mm. vines and stuff that have okay. gone through the stonework, which is what was originally hiding the little crawl space to begin with. So very easy to scale. Um, it just looks quite small. So I will tell you that if you are wearing anything more than medium armor, you can't fit in there. Um, Bob is a dwarf, so he's a little smaller, but dwarves are stocky. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess we could say Bob could fit with armor, but, um, but yeah, you'd have to, if you want to fit in there, uh, you'd have to take off heavy armor if you're a normal sized armor, so. person. Yeah. But, uh, keep that in mind for who wants I to go got... in and when. Yeah, I've just got leather armor. Hmm. Yeah, no. Cool. I'm armorless. I'm naked. Almost. Well, hold on. <laughs> this, is, this is a PG-13 <laughs> no, stream. Uh, fully clothed. Yeah, in very fluorescent white clothes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Diogo, I think you're the only one with heavy enough armor that you'd have to take it yeah. off. Um, so you can either choose to stay in the room or you can yeah, go. Yeah, I will stay in the guard, the, the, the behind, because if, if we're all stuck in, in a room and some creature just attack us from behind it's gonna be bad i mm. think so if you if you agree i'll just stay here and yeah we'll be back Mount Guard, yeah and i start climbing i, mean, I, I can stay with her room i feel like <laughs> i shouldn't leave one person alone <laughs> in a terrifying tomb what so. no we took care of all the bad stuff in here yeah it's all dead don't worry <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah I'll, I'll start climbing too me too cool start climbing Uh, the crawl space goes for a, a little ways and then it empties out into a, another tall ceilinged chamber let's see here oh the crawl space um, goes into darkness blah blah blah, blah. Oh, sorry yeah, what I already told you okay uh, the opens into a high vaulted chamber resembling the, the interior of a great hall in the center of the chamber is a column uh, rising to the ceiling. The column is decorated with dozens of stylized carvings depicting the deaths of wolves. The column itself seems to be made of alternating sections of stone and wood. Hung from the column like trophies some 20 feet above the floor is a long wolf spear and a bronze shield. Does it look like the same spear as in the wooden <laughs> replica we saw? It does look like that. All right. I think this is what we came for. Uh, I think so, too. How are we getting it down? How far up is it, Mr. Judge? It's 20 feet. It's 20 multiple feet. blocks up. Um, <clears throat> God. And it's just suspended <laughs> in the middle of the room, essentially, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's a, it's a column in the room at like the top a stone of the column. column. Yeah. But every but it's alternating blocks and everyone every other one is wood. 
Okay. Yeah. How, uh, is this column like <clears throat> four feet in diameter or like is it sure, holding yeah. the roof? Is it holding the roof? I'm, I'm asking. I'm looking at it to see if it goes to the ceiling. <laughs> if it goes, no, it definitely. It's a column, so it goes to the ceiling for sure. Um, if it is supporting the weight of the roof, you, your your dwarf might be able to f- figure that out. I would like to. I would like to look at to determine if it's a uh, structural uh, part of this. Please building. let me look at to determine structural integrity. R- roll for that. Uh. I did don't. you want an intelligence roll or? Oh yes, no, I did. I said please okay. roll for that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I thought you were just dialing up the dice. No. <laughs> That's an eight. An eight. Is it holding up the ceiling? Probably. Looks like the wood has petrified. Oh, okay. It's quite old. Um and so, when you said it, it seems was like very hovering easy in to midair, was it actually like magically hung in midair, or is it attached? No, to no, this? it's 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 hung like from a strap. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the um, it it looks like it, it's near the top of the of the column, so you could. It looks actually really easy to climb because, like I said, it's separate blocks and they're all carved, so there's like lots of foot and handholds. Well, I'll give it a try, and then if I fail, I turn to Bob. If I fail, uh you know have zinc do it because probably really right. good at climbing things unlike me an elf probably i mean you could always go back and and swap out with with zinc there's no time elf away and oh. i start climbing oh. really fast you start climbing <laughs> uh roll agility to see how why does he always it, say that <laughs> why does he always say elf away Six again oh my god wow your your dice are so cold this I game i'm doing so bad ouch okay um you clamber up to the top. Uh, you can grab the spear. I grab it. You grab it. As soon as you grab it, you realize this thing is not very structurally sound. <laughs> and, and it starts rocking back and forth. Oh, no. Um, uh, you from the from the pillar rocking back and forth, you fall back to the ground. Um, take 1d4 damage. Don't are you, die. Are you rolling this, or am I? Um, I'm gonna roll it. Yeah. I should have you roll it, but I'll roll it. Two. Two damn. Okay. You're alive. Got one hit point. Um, got this. You're winded. You're, you're, you got some bruised ribs, but you've got the spear in your hand. And you it. see, yeah, the, the column is rocking back and forth, uh, and the whole ceiling's looking real bad. I need initiative rolls from the two of you. Well. Seven. Three. Wow. <laughs> um, the ceiling <laughs> begins to cave in. <laughs> I need reflex saves from both of you as you try to exit the room as the ceiling collapses. 21 natural 20 there you go four plus a Ooh. one for a five. Ooh. um a stone burn, burn luck can she do oh that? yeah you can burn luck we're getting to the end now so you definitely should so, so you can okay. burn your luck stat you can spend points of that and add it to your rolls um the problem is then later if i ask you to make a luck check and you've used a bunch of points off your luck stack stat but we're nearing the end of the game so like mm-hmm. you... okay so how how much would i need to need to burn here oh uh, you got a five, five? Yeah, i'm looking i was five. looking for a 10 so you'd have to burn five points yeah wow oh. you know what screw it we ball let's do it i will burn five points of luck all right Hello. you succeed <clears throat> you're both rushing out of the room uh, so let's see. Both of you were very low on initiative, right? Jordan, what did you say you had? Uh, I rolled a seven. Yeah. A seven. Okay. So a couple, a couple other things happen. Um, 
maybe I'll make it just one other thing. A massive slab <laughs> crashes down from above. I need uh, one final reflex saving throw. Uh, ten. Cool. Fourteen plus one for fifteen. Nice, easy. Um, you easily dodge that as you're making your way back to the crawl space. Um, yeah, you you clamber into that crawl space as the room finishes caving in behind you. Oof. Yeah, you, that's good that you spent that luck. That was that that was a <laughs> taking a lot of damage. Um, yeah. So take much to kill me. You crawl through the crawl space uh, and come back out uh, on the other side with meeting back up with your two other party members as there's like you're all covered in dust yeah. from all the stones <laughs> that have fallen Blood in my mouth we got it we got it looks like very easily good job yeah um yeah I'm just gonna take a little sit here real quick <laughs> while you guys find out where the the monster is oh god <laughs> my ribs <laughs> you've got the magical spear um, we do you can explore other parts of the dungeon or leave the dungeon because you kind of got what you were in there for yeah, yeah. we came for it although we got a shield and a spear so. yeah. yeah although is it going to be easier to go out the front door possibly than to climb well, out well that that rock still needs to be pushed out of the way. <laughs> um, okay. You did a really good job not disturbing the stones at the, the place you came in yeah. from. So it okay. should be really easy to climb out, actually. Okay. Okay. So we'll climb out that little crevice we came in through. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we find some healing uh, equipment in this place, I think we should definitely get out. Okay. Bob does not look good. <laughs> you climb out. Mm-hmm. Um... You're outside the tomb. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to... I mean, looking at the... Again, this, this the people that are so <laughs> destroyed. It's like, uh, should we go to the old widow, maybe? And then we can, um, you know, like, get the... Uh, the hair yeah. net uh, yeah. thing she was making us. The toupee thing. And then you know, we'll have, yeah. like... We'll have two magical items. Like, I mean... Way better than and one. Maybe she can heal, too. Maybe she can heal us mm -hmm. in some way. I will what, what's the sun the looking like? That. Like, is it getting dark? Is the sun getting real low? Oh, this. The, so it looks like if you go back to town, you probably don't have the ability to go out again somewhere else before nightfall. Mm -hmm. um, so you're either going to another the, spot. Do we think the monster is going to come to the town or back to the... Um, standing stones. We'll probably start at the standing stones if nothing's there. It'll go to town. Maybe you also know it's pissed off, so it might just go straight to town okay, because it's yeah. like those jerks. <laughs> teach them a thing or two. Thing. <laughs> if we go back to town, there's strength in numbers, mm -hmm. so we can warn everyone that we do have the item that can kill it, but we're going to require the help of the whole town. I like that yeah. plan. Yeah. Because they literally uh, they had they yeah. had all the ingredients. They just didn't want to cook. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. To town, it's food at home. We can, it's food at home. Yeah, <laughs> we can make the, we the, the knights use the rope. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Mm -hmm. Let's rally them together. Cool. All right, you head back to town. Uh, you get there. It's almost nightfall. We uh, go to the the. We have to go to the mm -hmm. the, the inn. It's the name of the the wolf spear. Oh, Bob's okay. gonna go straight to the to the widow while everyone else goes to the yeah. Mm -hmm. The widow's the widow's there. She's like, she's like, oh, you came back and you're still alive. Excellent. Barely. Mm. Barely. She's like, here, yeah. take this, and she gives you the the rope. Ah, thank you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be able to uh, heal folks, too, would you? For my future husband, of course. And she hands you a potion. Uh, you get a healing potion. It's 1d6. Uh, healing. You wouldn't happen to have to, would you? The, the rest of the group is kind of banged up, and I'm going to need them to take care of that monster. It's like, oh, I might have another in here. Hold on. 
Uh, yeah, she can find another one, but just one. Just one other one. <laughs> you get two, you get two healing potions. Thank you kindly, I'll go choose who's my favorite now. <laughs> starts starts limping back towards the <laughs> towards the tavern. Great. Uh, um, I think you go into the tavern, yeah. and they're like, "You have the spear," and everyone's like, "It's the spear!" Mm-hmm. Wow! Mm-hmm. Everyone's so happy about it. Got the spear, got the, spear. and we're like, "Look at this great job that a broken did too, right? Pretty good recreation." He was like, "I was just looking at a manuscript picture, but yeah, <laughs> wow." I hold up a book, and Silru has been. Uh, sacrificing you so that he can go out and find a magic item in uh, like the wolf's den in the in the marsh. That's what this book says. He's not your friend. Down with Silru. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, Silru sucks. Mm-hmm. And the door bangs open dramatically. And in the morning, I'm marrying the widow. Who wants a health potion? <laughs> <laughs> whatever they would <laughs> Yippee! Like, Yay. <laughs> Uh, who who else needed the health potion? Uh, I have one of three hit points, so I don't know if it would be benefit to yeah, me or yeah, somebody else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I, I I'm gonna re- I have eleven of thirteen, so I think I'm okay. Better, <laughs> better health. Elf, here's a health potion. All right, glug glug glug. I hope this is oh, okay. Oh, and I rolled a one on mine. <laughs> Do you want oh. the other one? Here, I haven't drank yeah. mine yet. <laughs> no, take your health potion. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm just going to go into battle with three points and pray. Ooh. Oh, I'm back to full. <laughs> <laughs> three hit points. I got two on my my potion. Oh, That's awesome. gosh. Don't worry, I'm feeling about as strong and healthy as you right now. <laughs> um... Yeah, and I'd like to get the Jarl to kind of round up some of those knights and maybe we can give him the rope and kind of like make a trap for this thing when it comes. And I'll look off yeah. in the distance to see if there's uh, more birds flying up in the air if it's running towards us. Oh, maybe. As the sun sets, you hear a horrible howl off in the distance and you've heard that howl before. It's it's the hound. Debt collectors. Or, oh, here's this. You hear the horrible howl. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. (laughs) Do you have a moment to talk about the Lord? Would you like to see this slideshow presentation of my most recent vacation with my family? Oh, God, it's terrible. It's horrible. (laughs) Only the most horrible things. So we, uh, Zink is like, maybe we should move towards the doors of the city, and we have like a choke point mm-hmm. for this creature, assuming it'll come through open doors. Mm. Who knows? Sounds like a good plan. Those who are not fighting, head over to the widow's hut. Tell her her future husband sent y'all. You'll be safe in there. Mm-hmm. Don't make There's any like, deals oh. that I wouldn't make. <laughs> He'll make a lot of deals, so don't listen to that either. <laughs> So we've got the the magical rope that we can like that the Yarl, the Yarl's men lasso it, yeah, or they can yeah, hold on to like it, hang so. it, hang it down, yeah, make a trip wire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, trip wire is a good idea. And then yeah. who the strongest among us? And it, Zink is like it's Harum, right? Yeah, I think I have fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you should you should have the spear. I give him the spear. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love I love this non-committal like oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so uh, good. Okay. <laughs> That's right. why he's the leader. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to you want to wait behind this like pillar, and then after it gets tripped by the rope, then you can do your thing. I I think we have to bind him in the hope and not just trip him. Well, that's yeah. why I said maybe we should get some of the knights to. Each one hold a, a, a end of it. Yeah. And just try to roll. Yeah. I, th- I they'll hold the rope for us to like trip him and then hopefully like wrap him up. That's my mm-hmm. my plan. Yeah. Okay. We'll shout directions in the chaos. It can't go bad. It's no, fine. It can't go bad. <laughs> yeah. This is the best plan we've ever made. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We're set up. We should have someone as as bait for for the. Oh, I'll do it. Right? <laughs> oh, Let's and then she like style. pulls out Henrietta. I mean, no, I'll do it. 
Uh, okay, so let's. So you're um, using the gate as a choke point. Um, the gate is open or closed? Open. Open. Okay. Um, so you're all standing at the other side of the gate. Can you you're gonna do that rope thing? Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, uh, you see, galloping out of the mist, mm-hmm. this horrible creature. Uh, the limbs of a serpent uh, and the body of a wolf. <laughs> Um, I think so. Like, look at how look at how white these robes, this tunic is. It'd be bad if it got blood all over it. Yeah, it sees you. It remembers that you're the one that that threw a dart right into its butt. <laughs> it's like, oh, I hate that one. Uh, as it's uh, galloping towards you, let me see if it is going to be smart enough to spot this before it gets. And entangled. Uh, no, not with a ten. Um, it runs at you. It goes to bite. Wow, I really hoped we gotten some of those Jarlsmen to have a rope around me as well and lift me up <laughs> off the ground, but I didn't think of that too late. Oh. I dodge. You t- I was just going to say you um, I get, like as it gets to you then they can trigger to okay, do they whatever they're going to do because it doesn't know that anybody else is there if they're all like hidden ready to ready to do the thing so do it describe the thing as it's done uh, uh, it's it's barreling towards Zink and she's like oh no pretending to be scre- she's still scre- their scream is real the scream is very real <laughs> And then two of the Jarl's men, they pull the rope tight. Yeah. And then, I don't know, maybe they have rocks on the ends. Oh, so maybe. They can throw either end. Well, one over. Oh, and yeah. And then pull it tight. Mm, cool. I mean, it's just around the middle, but. It's yeah. like a beautiful bow, like the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a Disney yeah. princess moment. The surveillance birds just come mm-hmm. in and tie it in a perfect Ooh. bow. The surveillance birds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, that uh, the creature doesn't see it coming. So you guys can roll. They can get a d24. Uh, they have. Do they have a strength bonus? I think they do. They have a plus two. Um, strength for throwing those rocks to loop the rope over. So yeah, one one of you guys can roll uh, a d twenty four plus two. Uh, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, twenty two plus wow. two, twenty four. Yeah, you wow. succeed. Um, <clears throat> loops over. Uh, gets caught up in this rope. Uh, and trips up. Um, falling onto its face uh, tied in this magical rope that seems to like you can see like smoke coming off of its hide as the where the rope is touching it oh. um, hates it hates it so much it's so mad um, go, let's roll initiative go in and yeah. attack him or? oh yes I just wanted to roll initiative to see what order we got yeah. <laughs> I'll say quick Harum <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. I thought it was be distracted or something. Fifteen. Bob rolled a six. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen for zinc. Ten for zinc. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm gonna give this guy an initiative die, but it's gonna be a d10. Seven. Oh, and I need to give the Thanes their own initiative, which is a d20. Plus, that should be plus one. Oh, they also have seven. Okay. Oh, Thanes. Okay, cool. Um, Harum or Doug, you both have 15s. I cast Magic Missile. Oh, it's time for Magic Missile. <laughs> But I will spell burn five of go. my strength. So I'll take out um, a knife and kind of like carve magic missile on my arm. 
and then <laughs> carve the words magic yeah. missile on your arm. You're gonna, you're gonna, Ten minutes later, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one d twenty plus five, six, seven. Whoops, and <gasps> ten. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that was cool. That's rough. I'll burn uh, <laughs> two points of luck to make it a 12. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then uh, I, fire, I, fi- I fire a single missile that does one point of damage. So I do all <laughs> this cool stuff, and then I'm like, Pew! Where does it hit? Uh, it hits uh, right, right between the eyes of this wolf. One oh. point of damage. Boom. <laughs> And then I turned to uh, Haroom and I'm like, you got this blood is <laughs> coming down my arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've warmed it up for you. Uh, I'm going to try to attack him and, and enrage him enough to do that he just focuses the attacks on me. That's the deed mm. I'm trying to do. I rolled a tree, but uh, yeah. Do you have any bonus because he he tripped? Do you... oh he's prone, so you get plus two. Okay, so that's then twelve. Nope, no. I'm looking for okay. a fifteen. Fifteen is the armor class of the hound. I missed. All right. Um. Oh, does the spirit has any bonus? Oh, the spirit does have a bonus. I'm sorry. No, Hold on. Yeah. I didn't tell you what. The... I just gave you the spear, and then I didn't actually tell you what it did. <laughs> ah, the spear! I'll scroll through this doc real quick. It's not plus three, too, right? Because it's got 12. Yeah, it's... It's, um... Well, maybe it's plus three against the wolf. I don't know. Yeah, hold on. Um, There's... Yeah, because I think... I preferred uh, enemy. Yeah. Okay. The wolf spear, uh, magical weapon, plus one bonus to hit and damage. Also grants the bearer plus one to initiative rolls. So you actually have a sixteen initiative. Yeah. Um, and it. Let's see. On a successful hit, the wielder can use the crossbars mounted below the spearhead to pin a creature, which can reduce the creature's AC by the wielder's strength bonus. Um, but then you have to sacrifice your actions to keep it pinned. Okay. So you can reduce the creature's AC as long as you like keep the spear pinned down with it. But but yeah, it's only plus one to hit and plus one to damage. Okay. So yeah, I missed. Okay. Um, uh, Zinc. Uh, Zinc's got her little spear. Uh, so she's uh pulled it out, or probably had it on her while she was pretending. <laughs> Uh, a nine. <laughs> oh. Nope. Yep. Whoosh. Whiffed it. Okay. Uh, the Thanes um, attempt. So this creature's thrashing around, and the Thanes are going to use their. Uh, well, at least two of them are going to use their actions to try and keep the creature pinned. Um, and then some of the other ones are going to take slashes at it with their swords. Um, they do have plus three and they do one d damage. Let's see. Let's roll a couple d twenties. No. no. <laughs> okay, there's one hit. There's two hits. Uh, how many more of them are there? Two more. Nope. Okay, they got two hits. <laughs> Okay, we did five damage. They, they well, did. That's that's good. Yeah, they did not nothing. Um, the hound thrashes around trying to get free. It rolls plus its strength bonus. Let's see if we can get free at the beginning of its turn. Nineteen. Wow. Uh, the thanes roll opposed strength. Nope. What's Couldn't this beat magic? That rope supposed to even do <laughs> the the magic rope is the thing it's one of the things that allows you to kill it so if you kill it while it's uh, tied up in the rope it stays dead same with That's, if we kill it when it's pinned with the yep gotcha. with the spear yep um but uh yeah it throws itself free of the rope one of the things goes flying um it attacks 
You, oh, there's like a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it attacks one of the Thanes and doesn't hit because it rolls a one. Womp, and th- then it rolls a two. Uh, and then it's going to attack one of the party members. Let's see. Uh, who's next to it? Uh, is everybody next to it? Yeah, well, I, Bob might not be yet. I don't I think, think I am. I was casting Oh, yeah, Jordan isn't, because you cast magic missile. Yeah, it's me and... Uh, <clears throat> and Harum. <laughs> okay. Uh, evens are Zinc. Odds are Harum. Okay. A 10 doesn't hit you. Harum? Yeah. Yeah, no way. I was like, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I was like, this is going to be wild. I'm going to use all three of its attacks because it gets three <laughs> attacks. But I didn't use them at the beginning because I wanted to do the toned down version of it. But then it just missed with all of its attacks. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, okay, it's Bob's turn. All right, Bob's going to rush in uh, with their sword. <laughs> Oof. The four doesn't hit. Nope. You can try shield bashing if you want. I can. Let me just... Aren't you buoyed by the witch's love or something? Excuse me, the widow. No. Bob does Ten. not hit. Okay. Uh, Harum, the creature is up. It's free of the rope. You could try and pin it with the spear if you want. Yeah, I'm going to try pin it with the spear then. Uh, do you have any... any- Bonus, and I have plus one, 13, 15. 15 hits. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine points of damage. Wow. It's a plus one, right? Nice, yeah. Um, and what is your strength score? Uh, 15. Um, so it reduces one AC, so it's 14 now, right? Yes. So now it has 14 AC. That's relevant to everyone else who's about to go. It is now... Doug's turn. Uh, Douglas takes his other arm and carves magic missile on this side, <laughs> taking this five again. points away from his agility to Ooh. give himself a bonus. <laughs> and he rolls a 12. He does one point of damage again. Oh really my excited God. about this. The spell bird is not working out for you. Uh, but I look so badass right now. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get cyanotic. <laughs> Your like, lips are turning blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this creature must have a really strong anti magic aura, my friend. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's only magic. Uh, yeah. Zinc. Yep. Uh, Zinc's uh, just going to pivot and again come down with that spear because <laughs> it's going to do the most damage if it hits. <laughs> Does a twenty-two hit? Uh, yes, very wow. much so. Okay, sorry, I had to say it like that though. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, and eight points of damage. Yes, that is just enough. How do you want to kill the hound? Heck yeah! Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, the little spear. Uh, goes because I it's the it's thrashing around, and so she she does the the up through the jaw, and like goes uh. To that spot where, uh, where um, Doug hit it before, <laughs> so <it's laughs> right the between one. the eyes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it comes up that, and then she's like, "Help me, help me hold it! It's coming down on me!" Uh, room! <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, it doesn't turn to smoke now, so it, it just yeah, it just kind of slumps over on you in its death throes, mm-hmm. and it vomits up all of that black blood all over you. You're wearing black clothes now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, That's never coming out. <laughs> I kind of um, like the look. Hmm. Maybe I can sneak better. <laughs> yeah, it seems like thieves are supposed to dress this way. Um, uh, someone, as as the beast is, the last air goes out of its body and it slumps and is dead and it doesn't turn to smoke. Everyone's like, it's dead. The beast is actually dead! And then everyone cheers. They're so happy! Huzzah! You've done it! Woo! I gotta Yay. sit a little lightheaded. I gotta sit down. Yeah, I, gotta sit down. <laughs> I feel like I gotta say this. Like, probably nobody eat this meat. 
Yeah, I you guys right. should I don't know. Really <laughs> I know it's a small this. town, like yeah. we don't normally waste yeah. meat, but you know. No, yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, oh no, we're yeah, we're oh. gonna bury this thing. Okay, okay. And people are now all sad though. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to taste it. No. <laughs> Um, People are already right, lighting up the barbecues and stuff. <laughs> One of uh, the the Jarl uh, comes down, and he's riding in, and uh, from he's got like a a rope uh, tied to the to, he's got a rope he's holding, and it's tied to his little sorcerer who's tied up who he's dragging behind him, and he's like. He's like, yeah. After after you said after I heard that thing about uh, Silru trying to sneak out to the den, I I followed him and saw that it was true. And he and he also like beat the guy. He roughed him up a little bit. The guy's like, no, you don't understand. I'm going to be the most powerful wizard. And then somebody like backhands him. Uh, <laughs> Jarl, if you if you need a new uh, sorcerer, let me know. <laughs> like, so I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take all of his things. <laughs> I'll, I'll clean out his apartment for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, oh, and because we're running short on time, I want to do the last most important thing, okay. which is the date. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, which is the pay the true payment, of course. Yeah. The true payment. Uh, Bob, you approach the witch's hut. Mm hmm. Yeah. The door creaks open, and stepping out is. A young maiden wearing a crown of flowers. You can tell that it's the witch, but just she's way younger. I knew it. And then she's like, um, she's like, so I realize that maybe a promised marriage is a little regressive. If you'd still like to marry me, you can, but you don't feel you don't have to. Well. A promise is a promise, so <laughs> how about we go on that date and see uh, see where things go? Oh, I brought you a handful of these. Uh, I thought you might be able to use them based on what you were pickling in there. And Bob's going to pull out a, a handful of dried uh, old snake skin. From <laughs> oh, <the> she's, <laughs> like, she's like, like, oh, I could use this. These are so useful. <laughs> uh, careful, they're crumbling. Just uh, both hands. There you go. Um. All right, you said yes to marrying the I said the yes widow. To going on the first date that I promised, I did mm. not marry the. Hag I like yet. how Lex does not hear that word. <laughs> no, <laughs> full on marriage. <laughs> no, it's marriage. It's not that Lex doesn't hear it. It's that the widow doesn't hear it. <laughs> I'm sure she's a nice lady, just a little misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bob, um, I can fix her. <laughs> <laughs> all right but uh but yeah we're we're out of time here so we're gonna we're gonna end this but huzzah thank you so much lex for running a great thank game you, for us yeah, yeah thank you this yeah. is so much fun thank you thanks everybody for playing thanks for accommodating me with your schedules i appreciate it um and thanks everyone at home who's watched i hope you enjoyed the game uh, you should pick up this adventure if you really liked it. You can buy it from Goodman Games um, online store, either in PDF or on print and PDF. Um, Links down below. Doom yeah. of the Savage Kings. It's awesome. Yeah, by by Harley Stroh. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, and now we're going to do that one final go around to see uh, what people do and where you can find them. So, Sarah. Hey, everybody. If you watched all the other ones, uh, you know where you can find me on the internet, and that's HypeGoblin.com. Uh, I really don't have anything specific to plug right now, but I do have some cool projects coming up. So depending on when this comes out, they might be posted on my website. Nice. Very cool. Um, master, master of wigs, Sarah. Sarah's got the best wig game of anyone I've Just ever met. Stop. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Uh, Jen. Hello, my name is Jen Vaughn. You can find me online at Haunted Vault Studios or on my Twitch page, the underscore Jenya will be uh i do a lot of drawing on there and some uh, map making uh thank you so much this has been fantastic yeah uh jen an amazing artist not not a bad writer either but the the art always wows me i love jen's art really cool stuff um and last but not least to diogo hi i'm diogo as you saw you can find me at diogo underline old school uh, my latest game is at Exalted Funeral and my podcast, Rude Games and Rude People, on whatever you listen to podcasts. 
Yeah. Diogo. Thanks so much for playing yeah. and, and running the game, and I love this CC. So, and this yeah. adventure is it's one of my favorites too. So, yeah. Cool. Now it's it's great. Diogo, watch out because he's a double threat. Because not only is he a great writer, but he's also a great artist, and now a great podcaster. It's a triple threat. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's coming for it's uh, coming for YouTube yeah. next. Our, yeah. Our, our days are numbered. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys again so much and thank you guys for watching at home uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more we're going to try and do a whole bunch of these and play some more yeah. DCC adventures and general OSR stuff so it should be a lot of fun awesome. yeah go support small creators everybody 100%. these people here the people who are writing these adventures small creators that's what it's all about and we'll see you next time on the Jocular Junction take care yeah. see you bye